Hey fellow Hexikins and Pulsikins, if you like that word, I'm not sure I do yet. Nerd Girl had that uh, a Twitter thing the other day asking what better than Pulsikin. I suggested Pulsish, like Turkish and English. That doesn't sound good either, but this is Triplet Dad 007 coming to you from the Magic Carpet Ride. Tonight, I am smoking an Olivia Master Blend. Nice little smoke. And we're going to go over bridging tonight. And uh, kind of pseudo bridging, if you will. Um, using a, an exchange like KuCoin or something like that to just pass through and change things around. So that's what we're doing tonight. Um, and we're going to go... Um, right from Coinbase, where most of us in the United States at least start, but you can do this with anything, right? Crypto.com, uh, Binance, Uphold, any of those things. And I'll, I'll give you a couple of uh, things to look out for on that also. But what we're going to do first is we're going to take this AVAX that I have in here. Um, Right here, we have 192-ish dollars worth of AVAX. And I want to remember that number because we're going to uh, see how much we have left at the end. We're going to jump around a whole bunch of chains. And uh, we're going to burn some fees up, but we're not going to touch Ethereum. So we're going to still have money left over after multiple changes and uh, uh, chain hops and... and coin swaps and uh, all that kind of bridge and stuff so let's get started so first thing i'm going to do here um is i'm going to take this uh avax and send it directly to my metamask wallet now coinbase uh the avax on coinbase is on the c chain uh, so it can go straight to your MetaMask. It's a great way to on-ramp money. Uh, and, and just so we we understand that when I'm doing all these chain hops and everything, I just kind of want to preface this. This is, uh, uh, There's a lot of people out there. I'm sure this isn't about Pulse Chain. This isn't about Hex. This is absolutely about Pulse Chain. It's absolutely about Hex. I would like people in all of these different chains to migrate money into the Pulse chain once it launches. And uh, I would like them to know how to do swaps, chain hops, and get that money over a bridge into Pulse chain when it launches. So that's what we're doing. All right, so I am going to take my MetaMask. And you can see I only have a point, uh, 0.002 AVAX in this wallet. Um, very little, okay? Um, surprisingly enough, I believe I could do a transaction with that. Um, so copy this. Go back to the Coinbase wallet. Need to do this quickly because it's down to 191. Um, withdraw. AVAX. Crypto address. Paste. Use this address. Valid AVAX address. That's important. Max. Network fee. Look at that. Uh, not much at all. Okay. Uh, and then scroll down. Withdraw. Now I need to get my phone. Get that code. And withdraw. Withdraw has been started. Now, this takes a little bit, so you're going to see a little pause in the video right here. Um, so we're back up to 192. Uh, 
you're going to see a little pause in the video right here. Um, it takes a while for those funds to come in here. I think they do batch processing or something like that with Coinbase. But uh, for that, those little fees, um, I'll wait a couple of minutes for my money. Um, the longest it's taken for me to get money out of Coinbase to my MetaMask was about, I think, 15, 20 minutes, somewhere around there. Look at that. It's already here. That was fast. That's faster than normal, that one was. So we won't do a pause here, okay? So now I have uh, 1.889 AVAX in this wallet. And we're going to go on to Elk Finance, okay? I'm going to put some links in this for you guys uh, so you can uh, uh, see what Elk is all about. Um, I'm not shilling Elk. I find Elk to be a very uh, effective tool into hopping into chains that I've never been to, okay? And you'll see why. All right, so let's first start with um, swapping uh, these tokens for elk. Okay, we're going to do max, and it's still leaving me point, uh, seven. We're going to go a little higher than that because we're going to come back to this eventually. Um, understand that when we get this total at the end, we're going to leave a little bit of dust in all these wallets as we go through this. Okay, So I'm going to move, change this to a 5 just to keep a little bit more money in the, uh, the AVAX wallet. So we have 72 Elks. Okay? Um, and we're going to hit swap. close so waiting for this to go it's pretty quick actually usually all right we have 72 elk in here right now okay 0.2 avax that's enough for some transactions <laughs> once we come back into this chain so with 72 elks i'm going to split these up into two groups okay I'm going to send 36 elk to the Binance Smart Chain. I'm going to send 36 elk over to Phantom. Okay. And I'll show you how we do that. So let's take a look at the MetaMask wallet first. I've, I kind of did a dry run in here, but I want you to think like these have zero balances. Okay. So this is my Phantom wallet. I have point uh, 1.2 phantom in here which is somewhere around three uh, uh 250 or something like that something like that um that's enough to do a ton of transactions on phantom a lot of the transactions on phantom are four cents so um and you'll see that once we start going through this process okay um let's go take a look so just imagine these have zero balance. And I'll, I'll tell you why that is in just a sec. Binance Smart Chain, I have a little bit of dust in there too. I have 0 .005 of a BNB. That's about enough for maybe two transactions on BSC, two or three, um, depending on what you're doing. All right, so I'm going to take this back to AVAX, Avalanche. And... Go back to Elk. And up here is where we just swapped. I want you to go to Elk Net. Okay? Right next to Swap. And this, this site has one quirk. Okay? And that quirk is that the first time you do this, every time, this screen will go white if you click this balance. So you need to refresh it. And I'll show you. Okay? We're going to hit max. We're going to hit phantom. And then this. Look at that. It didn't go white, which is really, really weird. The one time I do a video, it doesn't go white. All right. So let's just switch this to what we want. 36. 
Okay, we're going to send that to the phantom network. Now, if we sent elk straight to phantom, we could not swap that elk for anything if we didn't have any gas, if that phantom balance was at zero. Elk allows you to take, if you have 36 coins, you can do swap one elk for gas. Okay, so you will have 35 coins in phantom, and one of those will be turned into phantom, so you have gas to perform transactions once you get there. So when everybody's wondering about, oh, how am I going to do transactions on Pulse? Well, you're going to have a little bit of dust of Ethereum in your wallet. Most people do. But if you don't, and there's a, then there's this, uh, 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 an elk type uh, bridge, uh, which would be cool, devs, if you're watching this. Uh, you can do a box like that, and you can swap whatever funds you want to over into Pulse. And by clicking that box, you will have money to do transactions once your funds are bridged over there. <sighs> Sorry. So, we're doing this. Um, 36 of those coins are going over to Phantom. Okay? Swap. One for gas. Transfer. Point zero zero eight of an AVAX. That's incredibly uh, affordable, right? You could do swaps all day with this many tokens and not burn through that many uh, through that whole thing of AVAX. So hit confirm. This is actually pretty fast. Cigar went out. So transfer timer down there, and then once that ex once that expires, we're going to actually uh, go look at our Phantom MetaMask. It should be done. It's already pretty much done because you can tell our elk balance is already down to 36. Okay. So we're just going to wait for this timer to uh, expire though. If you see this, uh, some of you hexagons may recognize this a little bit. Uh, Matcha does this and shows like old transactions that you've uh, completed in the past. I kind of like this. Um, it's pretty cool. All right, should be done. Let's go to MetaMask. Switch to Pulse or Phantom Opera. Thirty-five elk. One was uh, changed over for gas. Pretty sweet, right? So now I have thirty-five elks and enough gas and phantom to do a whole bunch of transactions 2.6 phantom will uh, last you a week really uh if you're doing transactions on phantom i kind of uh uh compare the phantom network transaction fees on how it's going to be on pulse but pulse is actually going to be even less expensive than phantom um it's uh, very affordable to do transactions over here. And very quick, actually. So, now we're on 
Phantom MetaMask. Now you, you'll notice I didn't switch this on Elk, right? Uh, now that I've switched my MetaMask to Phantom Opera, Elk automatically changes the Phantom. Okay, so now it sees that I have 35 Elk over here. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take those Elk. Let's do Max Elk. Okay, and let's do swap those to USDC. Okay. And the reason why you'll see why I'm doing this in here is just a second. And, and I'm trying to actually do it. I'm trying to burn gas here for you guys. So you can see all the different. Uh, we're going to do multiple transactions here. And we're going to still have a ton of money. USDC. So max out USDC. That gives us 92 USDC. Okay. All right, hit swap, confirm swap, point zero two phantom, unbelievable. All right. We already did that, so colors pending. Okay, 35 elk for 92 USDC. Okay. That's awesome. So let's take a look at MetaMask. See the MetaMask here. So we know the transaction's done. Let's go over to Spooky. Now Spooky is kind of it's it's the uh, pancake swap uh, swap of uh, Phantom, or the uh, Uniswap of Ethereum, the Quick Swap of Matic. Spooky Swap is pretty awesome. A lot of fun stuff on here regarding farming and liquidity and stuff like that. I do a lot of that so I can make money for Hex. Okay, so we have uh, USDC in here ninety two point one, but. We are going to go from Phantom to BSC here, okay? So I'm going to hit Max, all right? And uh, we're going to now bridge from, we, we could bridge with Elk, but I'm just showing you another bridge here, okay? Now we're going to use Spooky Swap to bridge from Phantom Network to the BSC chain. And the reason why I switched those those elks into USDC is because Spooky Swap has a limited number of tokens they allow you to use to go from chain to chain. They don't have a wide variety. Okay, elk only has one coin that allows you to go chain to chain. And that's elk. Okay, but you can have a a a, a whole bunch of different coins here. So. You can uh, uh, transfer into the BSC chain any of these coins. Magic Internet Money, USDT, DAI, BNB, BFI, but I just chose USDC, okay? So, hit max. Let's refresh this because we just did that. It's kind of... Momentum to BSC, select token, max, bridge, okay, confirm. So this takes a while, and this is powered by any swap, okay? So uh, I don't know if you've ever used any swap before, but um, any swap has uh, a wide variety of coins you can use, like almost all of them. Uh, but Spooky Swap makes it simple and hones those uh, those uh, variations down for you, so uh, you, you don't get stuck over there with coins that you can't use. Okay.
you see me looking this way, I have this all mapped out on a whiteboard right next to me. Uh, that's kind of giving me a road map because I actually started this video before and I got lost. And I had to move everything back. <laughs> so, um, progress here. Uh, this takes a little bit longer than the, than the uh, uh, elk swap, I'll be honest with you. Um, if I was going to do this and I wasn't doing an instruction video or anything like that, I'd probably just go straight elk to every one of these different chains. But I'm trying to show different bridges. Okay. Our yard that she has gone. But I doubt it if it's in our BSC wallet. Let's check. Not here yet. So what we can do is this. And I'll show you uh, if, if you if you get a little itchy uh, and wondering where your money is, you can go to Phantom, and you uh, can go to your activity, copy this transaction ID, then you can go to any Schwab. Sorry. And we're going to check on our uh, transaction. Now this says it's pending. Let's go back over here. No, not here. So this will show up. This is where I'm just going to let this sit for a second. And uh, we're going to uh, just wait for a little bit. Any swap does take a while. Uh, I, this transaction does take usually uh, anywhere between 5 and 15 minutes. And I don't have enough stuff to ramble on about in that 5 to 15 minutes. So I'm just going to pause this right here and we'll jump back. Okay. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so that came through 91 uh, USDC here. That took forever. What, what, what was really probably 10, 12 minutes, uh, seemed like two hours. Um, you can see that the elk is a little bit quicker. It's using one coin, so there's not all this traffic of multiple different assets going across the chain. So it, it's more like a, a, a single asset being handled, uh, going all over the place, but it's only one coin, uh, which is easier to do. So 91 USDC are over in the Binance Smart Chain, okay? And if you remember, uh, we have a bunch of uh, Elks still on the Avalanche Chain, okay? And again, we're we're pretending like this is at zero, 
So, uh, I couldn't do anything with this if it was sitting here, if this was at zero. I can't change it. I can't swap, I can't swap it for anything. I can't bridge it any place. Okay. So I'm going to go back to Avalanche. Okay. I have these 36 Elks over here. And you'll notice I didn't switch this, right? But when I click on Elk, it's going to be on the Avalanche platform. Okay. Automatically switches. It recognizes which, which, uh, uh, chain you're on within your MetaMask. Okay. So I have 36 Elk here. I'm going to go to ElkNet, hit max. Let's see if it goes white. No, it's not going white. Huh. Binance. I'm going to swap one for gas. Okay. And I'm going to hit transfer. Watch how quickly this goes. We're not going to have any pauses at all, I hope. Fingers crossed. Okay. Transfer. Confirm. Okay, so 36 Elks are transferring. We could view that on the Explorer if we wanted to. Um, looks like that already went through. That was very fast. Let's see. we have any elks on on a smart chain elks are already here and you notice I did 36 elk and it gave me 35 elk and now we have 0 0.009 instead of 0 0.005 for gas so now we can swap some stuff around okay so on elk I am gonna swap um, all my elks, or let's just do some B and B's, so we make sure we have enough gas to get out of here. Confirm swap. Look at the price there. Estimated gas point zero 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 eight of the B and B. Confirm. Close. Zero elk, some BMB. Okay, now we have a bunch of BMBs. Now, view it over here. No more elks. We still have the 91 that came through from Phantom, and we have all the BMB we created with those elk. Okay, so now let's. I'm going to show you one thing here that we could do just for fun and to show you a cool tool okay for swaps you guys have probably heard me on main chat a uh, voice chat talking about buy swap buy swaps pretty cool okay um it does all kinds of really uh cool things but the most cool thing it does is if you do swaps on buy swap you will get reimbursed the fee even though it's 30 cents 60 cents or whatever and it, it, it will take that swap fee and return it to your to you in their native token so you get a little bank account of coins here which is kind of cool and you can withdraw them so you get reimbursed even though it's 30 or 60 cents okay but uh, it's still cool it's basically a free swap and you get those coins back I'm going to show you how to get ETH over to the Ethereum. We're not going to follow through with this transaction because I don't want to pay the fees to get it back. But we're going to do a mock of this 
uh, and show you how to get ETH over to the Ethereum network. I never buy Ethereum over on the Ethereum network because the swap is too expensive. I always do it over here, okay? So I'm going to take all of those USDC that I have, max, okay? And I'm going to swap them into ETH. I'm going to approve the coin because we've never done this before. To approve this coin, it's 14 cents, not 40 bucks. Okay. Um, confirm. Approving. Swap. Confirm swap. Estimated gas point zero zero two. That is, I think, uh, around. I think five hundred bucks, five hundred and seventy bucks right now. So, two times that, about a dollar. Okay, confirm. Pending transaction. Don't forget, we're doing this to get all of our money out of these farm, uh, 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 farms and whatever you have going over here. I'm showing you ways to swap your coins, get paid to swap your coins. We just got reimbursed that fee, okay? I could withdraw this. Um, and now I have ETH, okay? We're going to go to Evo DeFi, okay? This is a new, uh, we haven't touched on this one yet. Evo DeFi is pretty cool um, if you need to get ETH over for staking hex. Um, and that's usually what I do. I clear some money out of a farm uh, and send some money over to stake my stuff. So we're going to go from BSC to ETH with ETH, okay. Okay, so we have 0 0.002 max. Approve. We're just approving a spending limit here. We're not uh, doing the confirmation. Okay. Now I spent that little fee there so we could read this. Point zero 0.01 of an ETH. Okay and 5% to send it over, which is not bad, I don't think. Like 40 bucks to send it over there, it's around there, 30, 30 something. Um, it's still awful, but, but uh, it's cheaper to do that swap here and then send it especially if you're uh, doing farming and stuff like that over here. So we're going to back this out. We're not going to do this transaction. I just wanted to show you what the fees are here. There's other ones like this, like X pollinate or uh, a couple of other bridges. You can go over to ETH, but I'd rather not even mess with ETH. That's why we're starting Pulse, right? So um, I'm closing this. We're not doing that anymore. We still have our ETH over here. We have uh, the USDC at zero because we turned that all into ETH. And then we have our BNBs. So this is what we're going to do now. We're going to make a round trip. Okay. And I'm going to 
go back to buy swap. I'm going to take my B and B, switch that, take my ETH and turn them into B and Bs. Max. There we go, showing our balance. Approve ETH, because we've never done this swap before. Confirm. You'll only have to do that once. Swap. Confirm swap. Confirm again. All right, you see this one up again. We just got reimbursed that fee also. If you do a lot of swaps, this makes a lot of sense. I do a lot of swaps because I do a lot of farming. So now we have everything back into B and B. Okay, 0.34 of a B and B. We're going to take that B and B. And we're going to send it to KuCoin. Okay. And let's go just double check our other, our other, our other chains real quick. So we don't have any coins here. We just transferred them all into BNB. We have probably a little bit of dust left on Phantom. But everything else is empty. Okay. So we've got about... Six bucks hanging out over there. Um, and then in AVAX, Avalanche, we have zero Elks and 0 0.01 AVAX. Okay. So what we're going to do now is go back to BSC. Got 0.3 BNB. Going to go to KuCoin. Assets, main account. So we typed in BNB. We're going to deposit BNB over here into the main account. I have read the risks. Okay, I know what this means, uh, and, and you'll see. what I'm talking about. Fully read the rest. Continue. Okay. We only have to put the memo in if we choose to send it BEP2. And the only way you get a BEP2 BNB really is if you're on Binance uh, and uh, you're sending out of the US because they don't let us send BEP20s. Okay, so BEP2, uh, it, but we're not going to use that. We're just going to go BEP20, okay? We're going to copy this address. Copy. Go to MetaMask. We're going to send. Here. Paste. We're going to go max. And that gives us uh, enough for gas to get out of here. Okay, uh, and next, and confirm. Pending. Done. We should hear the little cha-ching sound over at KuCoin. Once that comes in. Yeah. 
process. While we're waiting for this, um, this is my garage. It's not a studio. You probably can tell these are ammo cans, big ammo cans. Um, it's where I'm allowed to smoke cigars and be on the computer. Um, this is my hangout where I do all my stuff. We're going to wait for that to go in, do a little pause here. Okay, so it's in, which is awesome. We have our BMBs over here. We are going to transfer those BMBs over to our train account, trading account, maximum, confirm. Successful. Okay. Go to assets, trading account. We're going to trade with these BNBs to USDT. By the way, we could trade to uh, BNB to KCS, the KuCoin coin, uh, and go over to the uh, KCC community, the KuCoin community, and, and uh, go back that way. But we're just going to go to USDT. And we're going to hit market. Oh, so sell BNB. So market 100% sell. I like that sound. And now we're going to go to. AVAX USDT. AVAX is on C chain, okay, here in the KuCoin community. We're going to do a market USDT to AVAX, okay, max buy. Now let's go back to our asset and our trading account. If you've never dealt with KuCoin before, um, you can't send assets out of your trading account. We have to transfer those back to our main account, max AVAX, confirm. Successful. Assets. Main account. All right. And this is where the rubber meets the road. Uh, we are going to go to MetaMask. Go to our Avalanche account. Okay. Assets. Copy. Go back to coin. We're going to transfer our AVAX. Or not transfer. Sorry. We are going to withdraw our AVAX to this wallet address. Network. We're going to do the C chain. Max. No remarks needed. Confirm. Confirm withdrawal.
going to block this out. Um, and we'll come back when this screen goes away. Actually, we don't have to block it out, it doesn't look like. Submit. Successful. Now that is back on its way to our uh, MetaMask. And it goes without saying you can reverse this whole process, right? Uh, and get that right back uh and we can send this straight to our coin, coin, uh, uh, Coinbase Pro and uh, turn that right back into fiat at this point, okay? So it's back, 181, okay, One, uh, 1.81. Um, so it's all back over here. And again, right, we left some dust here. Actually, no, we cleaned that out. Um, we left some dust here, six bucks, okay, and if we were going to take all of these, sorry, go back to Avalanche, if we were going to take all of these AVACs and turn them into elk i mean uh into usdt let's just say or or uh usdc max Says this for a little bit, it'll, it'll go. There it is. So, hundred and seventy-one dollars. I think we started with one eighty-two, if I remember correctly. So, let's just recap this, okay? We went from Coinbase to AVAX on MetaMask, right? We took all of those, we split them in two, and we sent half to Phantom half to Binance, BSC, we swapped twice, right, once on Binance, uh, once on uh, Phantom, and then we took those coins, we turned half of them into Ethereum, did a mock transaction on Evo DeFi, we took all of those coins, did another swap on Binance, and swapped those for BNBs, we took those BNBs, we sent them to KuCoin, we swapped those BNBs to USDT on KuCoin, we took those USDT and swapped them for AVAX, we took that AVAX, sent it back to MetaMask, and we spent $11. And we still have money left over on Phantom, so we didn't even spend 11 bucks, but let's just give it the benefit of the doubt and say $11. It's incredible. Here's the one thing that you don't ever want to do uh, that I've done and I paid for it. Um, never send from any of the major exchanges, KuCoin, Binance, especially Uphold. Never send money directly to KuCoin. Send it to your MetaMask. And then the KuCoin. Um, I kept taking USDT 
and sending it to, uh, I took uh, on Uphold, I would take USDT, send that USDT to KuCoin, turn it into BNBs and send it to my MetaMask. And then <laughs> Uphold uh, canceled my account. Um, I didn't know I couldn't do that, honestly. So that is the bridging uh, tutorial. Little, uh, we just explored the blockchain a little bit. Um, just in case you didn't realize when I was scrolling through this, okay. Hey, Max. From here, from this one uh, application, Elk, we can go to Kronos, Phantom, Harmony, Who, Who Boy, KCC, Moon River, Polygon. We can go to all of these different chains, okay? And we can take all the money from those chains and bring it over to Pulse. We could take all the money from those chains and bridge it over here into Binance, turn it into BNBs and use the other video and change those BNBs to Hex. I always like to take these videos and end them with a Richard Hart project, okay? So I'm not doing this uh, to promote any of these DEXs or any of these, or any of these uh, swap uh, sites or or any of that. All I'm doing is I'm trying to take these coins, move them around the blockchain so you can get familiar with it. Just like I've said in main chat, you want to get familiar with moving stuff from chain to chain. So when Pulse Chain launches, you're familiar with it and you can get your money from any of these other chains over to Pulse. There will be something like this available, if not the very first day. Uh, within a couple of days of launch, I'm sure. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, thanks for watching my other videos too. I really appreciate it. Um, we get quite a few views on the uh, change now and the RPC one. So we really appreciate that magic carpet ride. Um, have a great night or have a great day wherever you're at in this world. Uh, Triplet Dad out.